Uh, yeah, yeah we're, well, I started. We okay. are in the home of Peggy Rogers, making her famous chicken pot pie. We got Aunt Margaret and Mama. We're watching. And Melody. And, and Melody, I'm filming. And Peggy was just saying that it's easier to make two. Go ahead. It's easier to make two when you make it because one chicken makes one pie with almost enough to make two. So if you have to get three chickens, if you're gonna buy it later, you might as well buy it now. So make three and then you get, I mean two, and then you get enough out of the second chicken <laughs> to make the <laughs> third pie. Anyway, you'll, you'll figure it out. All right, so walk us through what you what you got out here. I got a, uh, not a quarter, a third a cup of butter and I just cut it up so it'll melt faster in the skillet. A third a cup of onions, a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper and a half of a teaspoon of salt and then some other little pinches of things. Oh like secret recipe. Cardamom and, and red pepper and garlic salt. Oh. And then a third of a cup of flour. Sorry that's chicken and um, two and a half cups of chicken. And they, this is probably closer to three. So There's each big, one of those is two and a half cups because yeah. you're making two. So yeah. that's why you got each double everything. Is two, and then a uh, cup of milk and a cup and a half of uh, chicken broth. And that's mixed and, together already? That's mixed together already. And uh, I do it that way. They, I mean, you can do it separate if you want to. And I get the organic because it's better. And I did try the the low salts, and it's not good. It doesn't make a a good pie. Okay. Oh, what, where are you going? I'll, I'll move out of your way. I'll just set my trash a, a trash thing here. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Okay. And the first thing I'm gonna do is, of course, turn my pan on, and you turn it on. A high part of low. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the high part of low. <laughs> well, I consider this medium, and all that is is low. <laughs> That's the only way I know how to say it. And then you put your butter in, and let it melt, and it goes pretty fast, actually. So you're just going to make one at a time, even though you got the stuff to make two out. Yeah. And what I didn't tell you was um, you put two cups of vegetables. And this is green beans, carrots, and corn. You can really put any mixed vegetable thing, but I think this is a pretty standard one. Yeah. But okay. you're supposed to let that thaw, and I forgot. <laughs> so you want to let it thaw. It, it, it just affects the temperature at the end. You gotcha. Know, you put it in the chicken when it's like that. And while the butter's melting, it won't take it long. I'm going to get one of these out. Now tell us what those are. These are Pillsbury pie crust. Okay. You can make it with your own pie crust, but this is just easy. And we all like easy. We all like easy. And I lay a paper out and I measure the thing so that if I want to put my holes on it before I put it on the pie, I can see where the center is. Oh, look at her. See. She has marked it on there. It's just e easier that way. For me. Now, some <laughs> people can tell where the center is. I have trouble. And leave these out about 15 to 20 minutes before you start because they'll be easier to work with. Because when you, when you roll them out, sometimes they don't want to, if they've been in the refrigerator, they don't want to. The unstick and unroll. Yeah, unstick and unroll. But this is the easiest way. But I have, I have made crust before, but uh, that was just flour that I thought, oh, i got to get this back up. Now 
that's that's and I know the center is out here. Yeah. So but on that one I won't be doing the the holes. I just roll it out. Okay, so the one on the bottom you're not gonna do a hole. Mm -mm. So Get over here so I can see you. No, I just like to lay lay it, lay it out so it's easier to get in the pan. Don't like to roll it over the pan. And so you you just lightly press it in there and leave it. Gotcha. Yeah. And how's your butter? My butter's ready to put my onions in. And, and that was how much onions? What did you third say? Of a cup. Third of a cup of onions. It's like a. And then the spices. The secret mix. Mm -hmm. And you let that. You let that. Uh, I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit and then. Down to the that, lower part of low. Yeah, the lower <laughs> part of low. And I'm gonna. Set the timer for two minutes. So I'll know to, that's when I put my flour in. Okay. And like I said, it'll go real fast from here. I mean, it goes fast, it's the cooking. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn my oven on, let it preheat. And it, it calls for a 425 oven, but my oven is hot, so I'm gonna do 420. Okay. If it's gas, a lot of times it is, but it's real easy. And you can add some of your own spices in here if you like certain spices and, you know, with chicken. I don't know if I've ever cooked with cardamom. You can't put much, but I put just a, just a pinch, and it literally each one of them is a pinch. She's doing that with the butter. Oh, okay. I'll hush now. No, you don't have to okay. hush. <laughs> That's okay. So there's no flour in there yet. No flour. And that's, I'm going to go ahead and add the flour. I'm gonna let it cook the rest of that time that I've got on there. Well, I need one more minute. Not, not, probably not a minute. Mmm, that looks and smells good. It's pretty good. And you put the the mixture of your milk and your bo um, your uh, broth. That's like one and a half cups of broth and one cup of milk. And I use half and half. Okay. Oh, you use half and half? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's another little secret. And it will get, it will thicken up. And when it starts thick, thickening up, you turn the stove off and add your chicken. No, you add your chicken and then you turn your stove off. And how about the vegetables? I don't know. Oh, yeah, they, you have to add those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, I forgot about the vegetables. Yeah, you have to add the vegetables. Uh-oh. Forgot all about the vegetables. Thank you, Melody. <laughs> it would not be good without the vegetables. <laughs> Probably. I'm 
turn it back up to the higher <laughs> point of low. so good. Yeah, I'll start with the thicken. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. It is. So she's good. It says on there two minutes, but you you'll know it's a it starts to get it's like making gravy kind of. Yeah, it's kind of like making gravy and it'll be it'll be a little bit longer than that. I don't want it to get too thick. I guess. And I'm gonna add my I'm gonna add my vegetables first, I think. No, I'm gonna add my chicken. So my vegetables weren't boiled. I want the chicken to be to get some of the heat. It's real easy and it comes together real fast and you can take the chicken off the bone and you can freeze it for th at least three months. That'd be great. Yeah, and you just pull it out. And now, do you do the whole, um, like, do you put a whole pie together and then put the whole pie in the freezer or do you just freeze the ingredients? No, I just, I just freeze the ingredients. I don't, um, and this calls for two. I think two, two or two or two and a half, two cups. Calls for two cups of vegetables. Oops, sorry about that. And what I do is I add, I'm gonna get this all mixed in and then I'll cut it off. And then I'll add some more broth because I found that if you, like if you make it and you give it to somebody and you go over and they invite you over to eat it, it's dry the next day. Mm. So you want to That keeps it a little now bit. I'm going to turn that off. Turn the heat off. Then you add, I don't know, I add it till it looks right to me. So you just want it to be a little soupier than yeah. it was. Yeah. Because it'll and it'll it'll come together like that, and every time if if you don't add a little bit more liquid, it is it's just dry because it has that uh, pie crust under it and over it, so it absorbs some of it. I'm sure. Aunt Margaret's telling secrets about the family over there, so if y'all hear them. <laughs> Somebody's got a loving heart. I know that. <laughs> Brody, we're so glad you have a loving heart. Well, that's like that's like saying, Peggy's so stupid, but she has a loving heart. <laughs> that's Southern. That's Southern. You're supposed to say, bless your heart. Bless your heart, yeah. But bless her heart. She has a loving heart. But that's not what she was talking. That wasn't. She wasn't talking to me. <laughs> You're not stupid, Brody. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> We're just talking about how you scare us to death on the bulls. Okay. All right. Now see if I had my pie pan, which I do, in my um, ready. I would, and and it, and there'll be about a cup of this left. Okay. Or that's what it usually does. I don't know why. All right. My oh. pot pan's probably oh. not as big as I'm that. coming over here so I can watch. I can get it. Oh, don't use cast iron. You won't be able to pick it up. No. <laughs> See, there's a lot left. But I'll just pack it on there as much as I can. Right. 
and it'll it'll I might as well just do the whole thing <laughs> it'll be full but And I'm gonna move this over and do the other, another one of the things. What are these things called? I'm testing these. Pie crust. Because okay, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I'd been smart, I would have already opened these. But I want. Now, who in your family loves this the most? Uh, Adrian and Sean and Gavin. Gavin, Gavin will, I took him and Destiny a pie for dinner. And he sent me a, before I got back home, I had a text from Gavin showing, and, and Destiny was pretty upset because before she got home from work, he had eaten it. <laughs> he had eaten it before I got back home. Yeah, I got that picture, too. Okay, now this is where I was telling you I try and do this because I try to get the center. And I'm not an artist. I'm just trying to make some cuts here. Oh, she makes it pretty. Well, no, that, I mean... You gotta have these holes. And you make them, you can spell somebody's name out um, with it. You can, if you're mad at somebody, you can say something on the pie with this. <laughs> you can do all kind of things with a knife and a pie crust. Really, you can. I got the one up here. Now, like, like I said, this is not that. And you just lay it on there. Oh, well, how pretty. And I don't cut this crust off because my kids like the, they like the thick edge. And I just. So you're folding it under. I'm folding it under to match well, the. Well, how neat. And on a glass plate, you don't have this much to fold under. But it seals it in it. They like that edge. It's like a pizza. You know how the edge of a pizza crust is thick? Yeah. Of course, Gavin didn't seem to even notice the crust. <laughs> Hope it is. And she's yeah. like Margaret. She cleans as she goes. Well, I try. <laughs> and I've had this since I got married. This is my, this is my spoon. And that's how I do Oh, it. that's your crimper. Yep. That's what I do. As soon as I get this one ready, I'll make the other one and we'll, um, I'll put them in the oven at the same time. But once you get all your stuff together, this is super simple. Now I know there's easier ways, I guess. That's pretty. All right. My spoon does it. I don't remember who gave me this spoon, these spoons. I had a bunch of them. But I got them for a wedding gift. Shower gift or something. Had to be somebody that cooked, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Too. Peggy, that's really pretty. Well, it's it's really easy, 
And then when I get both of them done, I'll brush them with egg, uh, egg wash and they'll come out really pretty. Now, now is the egg in the mixture there, is it just egg or is there something else in it? Uh, no, it's, it's just egg. So I, just one egg beat up? I sometimes put a little bit of water and I'll know that when I start to, to uh, what do you call it? Right. To brush it. Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna get the bottom one on this one ready, and I'm going to take that one out. I'm gonna have to find it. So. That one. Okay. Now well, I'm gonna stop for now. Okay. And then I just have uh, a whole egg, two whole eggs, for, actually and um, with a little bit of water and you just wash the top before it goes in the oven and this dough is real soft so I have to go back and do my ruffles. You want to make sure you get in between here. And get your edge. and real gently go over the top. Now, did you wash that brush out good after you painted? <laughs> yeah, I did. The last thing I painted was my bathroom <laughs> trim. Beautiful. And then I'll do the other one and then, sorry, get ahead of myself. And then I'm going to put parchment paper on a big pan and put them both on that big pan and stick them in a 400, in my stove, 420 degree oven for 20 minutes. Or until just keep an eye on them so the crust up and burn. So you don't cover them or anything? Mm mm. No, nope. I never have. And they usually come out pretty good. If you got eggs left, and I've done this before, you don't have to waste them. You can scramble them. Oh, so you tap down with the brush on that one. That works yeah, too. Yeah, because this one's not as soft as that right, one for some right. reason. But that one is really soft. Well, it was the first one you did, right? Yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't either. It's the second one. Cause the, yeah, because the metal pan you did first. Uh -huh. So she's got one's in a metal pie pan and one's in a glass Pyrex.
hope this is the right one. Both of them doesn't fit. I don't know if that's it. 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 I don